what is going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and in today's video we're going to test out this thing all right so as you guys know uh, if you guys saw in my last video I was putting hobby grade electronics into a toy grade RC and now I got it all set up ready to go and we're going to test it out and see what it's going to do um, is it going to go fast no don't think so uh, is it going to do the 80 miles an hour like it said on the box no don't think so um, let's just see what it does check it out <laughs> All right, so as you guys saw, a uh, little run on it. Um, I mean, it's not slow. I'm sorry, it's not fast, as I told you it wasn't gonna be. Um, it is slow, but I wanted to test it out and see what I would be able to do with the hobby grade electronics into a tour grade RC. Now, the E, the ESC that I'm using is the Hobby Wing 1060. Uh, I'm running on a 5000 Ma uh, nickel metal hydride battery and a ECX uh, servo that I just ended up finding in my uh, in my stuff. And it's not too bad per se. Um, it would be nice if it went a little bit faster, but. Uh, I think that's what we might end up doing guys hit me down in the comment section below uh, I think we might end up upgrading the motor to it uh, I'm not even going to put the GPS on this thing to see how fast it goes because it's slow if anything it probably does like five miles an hour not even but I want to play with it a little bit more Race on that day. I got it, yeah. 
right guys so there we have it the hobby grade Hennessy Venom GT of course that's the bus's side um, so I mean there it is uh, let's uh, go take it inside and because um, it's kind of cold as you guys see I'm wearing shorts and a jacket and I'm bald and I'm cold so uh, it's now like the middle of November so let's go take this thing inside um, take the body off uh, like I was telling you guys before so the body in order to take off the body what I'm going to I have to do is you got the one two three screws there you got three screws here another three screws down here that one that one that one another three screws in the back I only put two I did not put that one in the middle there um, and I want to show you guys what I did to put the battery uh, into this thing um, so it was kind of like a genius way that I did it but it kind of wasn't but it was but it wasn't so <laughs> let's go back inside and uh, take this body off all right you guys so I wasn't going to do this but uh, I figured if I am going to upgrade the electronics on the on the uh, car, let's uh, find out how fast it goes. The way I have it now on the stock motor, and uh, as you guys can see, I got the GPS on there, zero miles an hour. Um, so let's see what this thing does. Let's do it. So we got a total of 4.6 miles an hour. Um, let's uh, try that again. And all right, GPS is still on. All right, let's uh, try this again, shall we? Let me get the steering right. Alright, let's do it. Coming downhill, it's going to go a little bit faster. So let's see where we're at now. Again, 4.9, as you guys can see right there. All right, so I wanted to get a baseline uh, mile per hour for this thing. And uh, I knew it wasn't, a, a, come on, seriously. On the box I said 80 miles an hour. <laughs> There's no way this thing went 80 miles an hour from factory. Um, so now, since I didn't go inside and take the body off to see how I did this, uh, let's go inside now, take the body off and see what I ended up doing, how I put everything together. And, uh, again, let me know in the comment section if I should upgrade more than likely I am going to upgrade it. Um, I'll probably end up putting a bigger motor starters and then maybe just maybe again let me know down in the comment section if I should go brushless on this thing uh, so let's go in take this uh, body off and check it out all right guys so uh, we are back in my garage we are going to take this body off um, again like I showed you guys there's a total three up top there hold on so there's three screws here 
There's another three screws over here. There's three of them that go here in the front and three of them here in the back. What one I did not put on, I only put the two on the ends here. So what I'm going to do now is take this body off. Um, we just saw the video of how this thing did outside. We already knew that it was going to be slow, but um, now let's just take this body off and see what I ended up doing in here. And I almost forgot, there is another screw right back here that holds this rear diffuser on. Uh, so I actually got to take that screw off and every other screw. <laughs> It's a pain in the butt. Uh, now what I did wind up doing was this right here is the original uh, battery compartment for this car. So what I did was I reused it. Um, as you guys can see, took the battery cover off and I was able to get the battery in there. I had the on off switch right there as you guys can see that um, that's what I wound up doing I had to do some other modifications inside to be able to get the battery to fit in there uh, because the, this battery is just a little bit wider than the battery that comes with um, that comes I mean not wider but longer than the battery that comes with this thing which is around here somewhere I don't know where it is I'm not gonna go looking for it right now but uh, if I find it, then I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, start taking all these screws off. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 screws total. Uh, start taking all these screws off and get this body off. So I can show you guys what I did. All right, so I finally got all the screws out. Body is off and uh, let's just take a look and see what I wound up doing. All right, so as you guys can see here, see this rear diffuser just ended up ends up sliding in. We have these two little slot, slots things right there. It slides into the back. That's how that uh, comes off. So as you guys can see, this is a setup. This was actually supposed to be right up here, but that came off. That's not even sticking. So that's got to do something different with that. So. Here we are. What I wound up doing was the ESC right there was supposed to stick there, but apparently it's not sticking on there. I built this box thing. As you guys can see, um, I hot glued it. As you guys can see all down here, that's all hot glued on each side. Uh, it works. I got the Velcro strap right here that's going around that straps the battery into place. Um, I had to cut this little, there we go. So I cut this little piece out here. So when the battery strap comes, the battery comes in, the uh, line was supposed to go through there. Ended up making it a little bit bigger than needed to be. Um, so that is what I wound up doing. The ESC, I'm sorry, not the ESC, but the servo that I got on here, as you guys can see right here, this is just a cheapy ECX1069 ESC that I ended up finding and I put it on here. Amazingly, it actually works for this setup. Um, again, there are lights on this car, on the body, these wires here, I left the light wires still connected. Um, so just in case I decide that I want to hook up the lights. But but I just got to see how this video reacts uh, if I want to keep moving on with this car. Guys, if you guys want to see more content with this thing, you know, just keep watching the videos. Um, let me know down in the comment section uh, what you guys want me to do with this. I'm looking at upgrading the motor, um, putting a brushless system in here, uh, 
something. I mean, these tires are not the greatest tires. Again, it's a hobby grade. I mean, it's a toy grade uh, car with hobby grade electronics. Uh, I just want to see how crazy this thing can get. Uh, should I lock up the rear diff? Because right now the rear is not locked up and this thing is a one wheeler peeler. Um, should I lock up the rear diff? Should I not lock up the rear diff? Should I upgrade the motor? Should I just put a ESC in it? I mean, I'm um, upgraded brushless system in it. Uh, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. What should I do with this? Uh, so far as we saw it, 4.9 miles an hour, not even five miles an hour that I went uh, on the box front that you, when you could have gotten this thing, it was supposed to have gone 80 miles an hour, supposedly 80 miles an hour. Uh, with this setup, it and it's a brand new, fresh, um, not brand new, but a fully charged battery. And it only went 4.9 miles an hour, guys. Should we try to make it go the 80 miles an hour that it originally said on the box? Should we try it? I kind of don't want to break it because I like the body. But, hey, I don't know. Guys, let me know down in the comments section what you want me to do with this thing. Um, should I go with a brushless system? I don't know. I don't know, but should we try to make it go at least 20 miles an hour? Um, could we, we can make it go faster. We can always make it go faster. Slower, it already is. So, guys, let me know in the comment section what I should do with this. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything with the chassis-wise. I think I'm just going to leave it as is, but uh, I... I think I want to make this thing go faster. So hit me down in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I just step by step? Should I just upgrade the motor first uh, to like a 540 motor? Uh, should I just jump right up ahead and go to a brushless system? Uh, again, let me know in the comments section. Um, in me, I kind of want to just go up to a 540 motor first and see if I can get the 540 motor in this thing, first of all. Um, and just see what I can do with the 540 motor, if we, I can even fit it on here. Because, again, like I showed you guys, this motor is small. So, let me know. Let me know. And uh, I will see you guys in another video. So... Hit that like button, subscribe if you guys want to see more content. See you guys in the next one.